What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Giant Software have released new information on new ground working tools and textures coming to Farming Simulator 22. Not only does the soil, like other surfaces, look more natural thanks to parallax occlusion mapping, there's also new ground working systems and a lot of new ground textures to look forward to as well. In today's video, we're going to look at three new ground working features, mulching, stone picking, and soil rolling. Last week, we got to see some new tools that are part of a new category, mulching. Wasn't quite sure what they were all about. Today, we get to see how it's going to work. Mulching has different connotations depending on what you're talking about. In Farming Simulator 22, we're gonna be using a mulcher to ground and mix up the stubble with the ground after harvesting to improve the yield on the next harvest or to apply fresh grass to the surface of the soil when cultivating a grape or olive orchard. And because it's still important to many, you may also mulch to guarantee the visual appeal of your orchards as well, as mulching makes everything on your vineyard look nice and clean too. There's larger types of mulchers in the forestry section, which will have the ability to mulch up bushes and tree stumps. Almost nothing is going to get in the way of mulching if you apply the correct machinery. Another new feature coming to the game is stone picking, also known as rock picking. When cultivating or plowing, stones can turn up in your field. Depending on what kind of cultivator you're using, the size of the stones varies from small to medium to large. Using a subsoiler, you will dig up some larger rocks compared to more shallow groundwork. When collecting stones with your stone picker, you can make some additional money by selling them to the debris crusher. Before you begin to sow your crops, you should take care of your stones one way or another. You can also turn them off if you wish so that you don't have to deal with them at all. And the last new feature that we're going to talk about today is soil rolling. If your field only has smaller stones on it, you can use a roller instead of a stone picker. This is going to press those stones into the ground again and make them disappear. Just roll right over them and you're good to go. The roll texture can get a little bit similar to the planting ground that we have in Farm Sim 19 now, so giants have basically revised all ground textures for FarmSim 22. You're going to see more visual diversity with this new game, making it easier to differentiate between different textures. So let's take a look at them. As you can see here, we've got 13 different ground textures to look at. Stubble tillage, which is basically what the field is going to look like after you've used a mulcher. Cultivated, which I think is self-explanatory. Seed bed, which I'm not 100% sure what this is, just ready to be seeded, I guess. Plowed, which again is self-explanatory. Rolled seed bed, so what the ground is going to look like after rolling. So which is what the ground's gonna look like after sowing your crops. Planted, what the ground's gonna look like after planting. It's nice to see the ground being a bit different here than the sown texture. You can actually see the spread between the rows, unlike in previous farm sim games. Ridge, so what things will look like, like sugar cane, sugar beets, and potatoes after being planted. Direct sown, so what the ground looks like if you don't do any tilling work. Harvest ready, which I'm not familiar with what this could be. Harvest ready too, I'm also not sure what this is. And finally, grass and grass cut. Again, pretty self-explanatory. These new ground textures for Farming Simulator 22 will help to make the game more immersive and more enjoyable to play than ever before. If you would like to take a closer look at these pictures used in this video, you can find them on the Giants blog or on my Facebook or Discord server. I'll have links to all of that in the description below. Farming Simulator 22 will be released on Monday, November 22nd, 2021 on PC, Mac, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and Google Stadia. If you guys are on PC and would like to pre-order the game or the year one season pass or both together, check out the links below. Make sure you use code DJ Goham. Those links go to help support the channel at no additional cost to you and 100% of the proceeds from Farming Simulator 22 pre-orders back into giveaways. So that if you can't get the game, you're still going to have a chance to get one of the giveaways. I want to make sure that everyone that wants to play this game is able to. And I also want to say thank you to everyone who's used that code so far. You guys are awesome. Speaking of those giveaways, I'm going to have new giveaways happening every single week leading up to the release of Farm Sim 22 with prizes ranging from consoles, Xbox, and PlayStation cards, and of course, PC codes for Farm Sim 22. Each giveaway will start on Friday at 12 a.m. Eastern Time and last for one full week. The winners will be chosen the following Friday and announced during Farm Sim News. This current giveaway this week is the Xbox Series S giveaway. You can check that out linked below. If you have any questions at all about Farm Sim 22, the new ground textures, giveaways, or anything else, post those in the comment section below and check out the description for helpful links to other things you may be interested in as well. You can also find the Farm Sim 22 playlist link there so you can see every bit of information that has been announced so far. With all that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos, no matter what they may be, especially Farm Sim 22 content. With all that being said, hope you have a great day, and we'll see you later. Peace.